Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn about how to use the buzzer within the circuit wizard simulation. For it you can see that on our right hand side we have all the components and libraries. So here we have our audio folder and we can see buzzer. So click on it and drag it out. First double click on this buzzer and you can see that it's operating volts are 6 volt. Ok now with this buzzer we need to integrate our what's called as the function generator because uh, we don't have any sort of audio device. So as we know that buzzer used to respond to a lot of signals ok. So that is why we can yes we can attach it with any sort of like a function generator so that it, it will at least produce some sort of output so first is our noise signal change its voltage to 6 volts and okay and like this and now okay, now you can see that is noise is a random signal so that's why it is behaving like this. Now we need to change the uh, change what's called as it to the triangular wave. Then also we need to change the frequency of uh, uh, triangular wave to five hertz. Then we will see. Then you can see it. Now we will. Uh, now, now we need to change the frequency to like uh, 26 hertz and then as you can see then we need to 26 kilohertz then okay it is generating some sort of okay also at 26 kilohertz and physically uh, the buzzer used to produce a very like a sharp beep okay okay now we will change it to like a square wave and we also change the duty cycle to 80 duty cycle is the on time for the whole circuit for the whole signal so it is 260 hertz now and we will run it although the response is same as like 1 hertz okay response is not so much change but uh, can we reduce the frequency to like uh, 1 hertz less than 1 hertz no it's uh, can it be like a point uh, 5 hertz okay we can try okay okay wait so point 0.5 hertz can we change it to 0.2 hertz now it is uh, very very less now you can see that our buzzer is also producing also taking some gaps in between the readings so in this way we can use it so we can use sinusoidal or any wave of our own choice. So you can use this buzzer in your alarm circuit or in some other similar circuits. So hopefully you got the concept that how you can use a simple output buzzer within the circuit wizard simulator. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.